Welcome back to the show. You know, our next guest started making candles out of her kitchen as a hobby during the pandemic. Two years later, she has a brick and mortar store called Noir Lux Candle Bar in Belltown. And she's here to show us how to actually make some candles. So welcome to New Day, Kalina Bruce. Thank you. Thank you for feeding our candle addiction. Yeah, we, of course, we, happy to do it. We love <laughs> candles at New Day. And the thing I love about your store, about Noir Lux, is that not only can you go in and, and buy pre-made candles, but you could actually make your own. Yeah, exactly. I think that is such a fun idea. It's awesome, yeah, it's a candle bar. So we have a bunch of fragrances and we make it easy. It's not overwhelming. Right, you don't have but, to, yeah. and that's the thing that's yeah. so much fun. So how do we get started making our own candles? All right, so when you come into our bar, we have a variety of vessels. I brought a few for you to check out so you can pick which vessel you wanna use. I love it, they're so, all of them are, I like this one though, this double walled one okay, is Okay, yeah, it is actually called a double wall vessel. Oh. Um, we also make uh, custom mugs and you can make it into a candle. Oh, so we're adding cute. this for So you could give someone the candle when they're done burning it, they can use it as a mug. Exactly. We're all about sustainability and I repurposing things. Okay. So, all right, so the first thing you're gonna do is take your vessel. Okay. Um, and then we use wooden wicks at our shop. And that's because they're eco-friendly. They also crackle when they burn, which is really nice. Oh, that's fun. Um, and they help your wax melt all the way across your candle. So it helps your candle last longer. And I hate when my candles melt. Like Yeah, that's in... called tunneling, when you have wax left around the inside. So this is going to give you an even burn. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. See, you learn something every day. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, so the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to have you do okay, this. Okay, I'll do this. You're going to take your metal clip. Okay. And you're going to take your wooden wick. Yes. You want to put your clip down on the table. Okay. It'll be a little bit easier. And then just rock it in there, push it down to the bottom. Okay. Perfect. You got take it. Super your, easy peasy. Um, wick sticker. Okay. Take the yellow side off. Yellow side off. Yep. Sticky part goes on the bottom of your metal clip. Like that? Yep. And okay. then have you made a candle before? Never. All right. So this is your first challenge. Yes. All right. So you're going to find the center of your vessel. Okay. And you want to center your wick in your vessel. Okay, hold on. I feel like. <laughs> no pressure. Why is centering so important? I feel like okay. So with your wooden wick, it's actually um, it's it's optimal for burning. But if it's not completely centered, it'll still burn all the way across because it's a horizontal wick. But in most cases, you want to have a centered wick because it's going to help your wax melt more. I evenly. feel like I got it kind of centered, but no, yeah, I that didn't. Was good. Oh, no, man. it's still good. You'll be good. You'll okay. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next part is to pick out your fragrances. Ooh. So in the shop, we have over 80 fragrances, oh, okay. and I didn't want to completely overwhelm you, so I just brought a few. Um, some of our favorites: um, fresh linen, sandalwood. We actually have one called Volcano, which is a dupe of a, a really popular candle. Oh so yeah, everyone likes that. That candle. Yeah, yeah. So you can blend up to three fragrances. I, or you can just pick one. All right. This one is popular. I've, I've tried, I've had that candle. Everybody has that candle. Yeah, That's it's pretty good. popular. Yeah, but it's yeah. very good. I wonder what. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? What if you mix the lavender and Capri Blue? Oh, that, that would be smell. nice. Like, is there a wrong, like, will you stop someone if there's like a okay. huge. <laughs> like, will you be like, no, 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 no. Right, so we haven't had anybody make any stinky candles. I'm <laughs> sticking to that. But I will say there are some, like a citrus is going to be a little bit more overwhelming. Your woodsy mm -hmm. fragrances are going to linger a little bit more. So you just want to kind of take that into consideration. All right. But otherwise, your nose knows. So a sandalwood and mint? Sandalwood and mint would oh, be okay, nice. Okay, I like that. I want to yeah. try that. I want right. to try that. Okay. So now you're going to take your jigger. Okay. We're not mixing cocktails today. But I'm still good with this. Yeah. I'm very good with okay. this device. <laughs> yes. But we do have a candles and cocktails class coming up for Valentine's. So let me just plug that. Let's be there yeah, for yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So is um, of these two, is there one that you prefer? The sandalwood, probably. Okay, so we're going to start with the sandalwood. Okay. And I would say fill your jigger up about halfway with the sandalwood. This one? Yep. The smaller. So go ahead and okay. twist the top. The half and just go ahead and and pour some in there about halfway. You tell me when, that good? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, you're good. Okay. All right, so now go ahead and add some mint in. Okay. Add a little bit of mint and then smell it, see if you like oh, it. Oh, okay, like and I'm a perfume, gonna, yeah. Exactly, and you're gonna go right. back and forth. In the meantime, I'm gonna start getting your wax okay. ready for you because it's pretty hot. We keep it Ooh, at about. I did a good job, guys. <laughs> your wax is gonna be at about 170 degrees. So this part we do for you. Okay, I really am very good at this. You should hire me. I think you are. We are hiring right now. Are you? Thing. Yeah. Okay, I think that smells good, but in your personal okay, opinion, do I say. need more of one or the other? Did I like mute them Oh, both? no, I actually really love it. I'm I think not it's lying. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead and pour that in. Okay. Perfect. And now you're going to take your stir, and I would use the small end of the your small stir. small end. And typically with this, you want to stir for about two minutes. Okay. 
That's so around gonna, the wick like this? Exactly. Okay. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want your fragrance and your wax to bond and be happy. So wow. Bond, <laughs> my friends. At the same time, we ask you to think about what you're pouring into your candle. Yeah. What do you want to get out of it when you light it? Because at the shop, you get to name your candle. <gasps> so if you can name your candle, what do you think you would name oh, it? Oh, I would name it... Pacific Northwest Dreams. Ooh, love it. All right. Well, you have to copyright it, or it might be on our show. That's time. okay. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> no, that's great. And okay. how do? And so when I give you the name, what does that mean? Do you actually make a label for this? Yeah, you get to make your own label oh, in the really? shop. Oh, Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. that's fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, so while you're doing that, I'll show you what a finished candle will look like. So, I feel like I'm setting some like important intentions while doing this too. You, like I'm making like should. a spell. Yes. No, that's great. Because when you burn it, you want to get good energy out yeah, of it, I'm right? Yeah, I'm getting good vibes right here. Good. Okay. So your candle will look like this when it's done. Oh my We're going to trim the wick trim, and make okay. sure. Um, and you want your uh, wick to be about a quarter of an inch above your wax. And then when it melts, it's going to melt evenly all the way across your candle. I love that. I'm still bummed I didn't quite get it right in the center, but no, that's perfect. But it's still. Yeah, it, it, it's, how long does it take, by the way, for this to cool? Okay, so it takes about an hour for it to cure. Oh, that's cure. not bad. Yeah. So when folks come into the shop, they usually will go like grab a bite or yeah. a cocktail and then come back. And it's not like pick you come up. back three days later to pick right. up a candle. Right. Or it's you, only an we hour. can ship it. We do have a lot of people come from out of town, so oh, we that ship them out. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And then that way you don't have to put your candle in your suitcase. Exactly. Yeah. So do people? Because I now anytime anyone comes in to visit me, I'm absolutely taking them to your candle store As to make should. this. Thank you. Do yes. people come in for a lot of parties or, or not? Oh my gosh, not? yes. So we have, um, we do private parties, which we call sip and pours. Mm -hmm. So you get the space, you can bring in your own food and drinks and pour a candle. Um, again, we have classes and events. So we have a cocktails and candles class coming up. So we have a mixologist who's going to show you how to make some cocktails for Valentine's. Um, and then we're that. really focused on self-care. So we do journaling, intentionality, vision boards, all that sort of Speaking stuff. Speaking of self-care, we only have a less than a minute left, yeah. but I just wanted to ask you, I just find you so brave and, and powerful Thank for you. taking this leap of faith to yeah. create this during the pandemic. What, what made you take that, that moment? Um, I will say just my, my mantra is that my faith is greater than my fear, and I had an idea and I stepped out on it. I also have two kids. I told my son, Duke, God, say hi to him. He's at home. Hi, Duke. Um, he's four, and my 13-year-old's here today, and they keep me motivated, and my 13-year-old works at the shop. So I love that. it's family business. Uh, this is so great. Thank you for sharing your family business yes. with us. Thank you for Thank helping you for me make my me. first candle yes. ever. Yes. We, and we also have pre-made candles. If people don't want to go through the process and they just want to buy, they can do that too. So go check it out. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.